Wang Yang. Sounds like an earthquake, tourists. Hello, hello, here we go, another week. Another Wednesday, another week starts for me. That's my feeling about when the week starts, of course. Monday night is when it's sort of over, the week's over for me. Tuesday is the different day in the schedule. We start again on Wednesday. Well, having said that, that's not how it happened this week. Tuesday was a normal day. We uh, opened the door Tuesday, and it was a very, very, very busy day. No staff, just me here. And that's the way it's going to be. We are clearly now into our autumn busy season. We were thinking it might be a while away yet still, but no. It has arrived here now, our autumn busy season. So I don't know, our official closing hours and stuff still say we're closed Tuesdays. But unfortunately, most of the fans and stuff don't know about that, don't got the message, haven't got the message. So I kept it open yesterday and all day long people came. They've seen the videos, they've seen the airplane movie. They came to see us, get some prints. It was a very busy day, chaotic for me, I was here by myself. So the idea that we can be closed Tuesdays for the next couple of months while this keeps up is, uh, is a no-go. So. And if anybody was waiting for, for a new video or something today, because I said I might have a chance to get a new video done. It's, uh, Get this conversation already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the paint parties right now where you're using the Sensoji print. We've prepared this. I know for, for over a year, nearly two years, we've had a second print available in the print parties. Many people come to the print party like almost every year. They come back to Japan time and time again. So there's three or four sets of blocks in the room there. We've carved a print design of Sensoji Temple here which is designed for the print parties, and that's the main print party print right now. But we have a couple of other blocks, block sets under the table that we can't really talk about. They're block sets that I used for, for children's activity back in the years when I was doing that. Uh, so the print party's there, and the microwave still isn't up and ready, I'm sorry. Looking dark outside. No, the, the black behind me, that's not the outside. And this, is a, this is the wall here. This is a tapestry on the wall. Outside is what you see there. It's shutter. It looks dark outside. It's not. It's the shutter is pulled down that far. Then the reflection of the shop at the very bottom there, the outside. So the shutter is pulled down with just the bottom little scrap open. What does need the footsteps go by here today? It's a little bit of a cool day here in Saxon. It'll be a nice day. We've got the door and window open, the back window will be open. The autumn weather, actually, the, the, it'll be a pleasant autumn day here today, I think. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure. A bit too early to see.
some noise in the mic, I'm trying to cut my chisel. Yeah, I'm on a shoe lady soccer. Here we go. Is that the day? <laughs> the shoe lady. I had an experience yesterday. I'm not sure if I should talk about it or not. Let's see what happens today. It's, it's 8 or 6 or something. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. There's probably going to be a repair crew coming today sometime here to the street. And the typhoon came through Sunday, Sunday night, I guess we were. I can't remember the exact was it Sunday? Yeah, typhoon came through Sunday night. So. And in the morning, there wasn't any, any real trouble for us. It was very, very, very noisy, very, very windy, of course, during the night. But Monday morning when I got out, looked outside, one of the trees on our street had been partly blown over. There's not. This is called the Lok Dori, and it's the literal translation of Lok Dori is Street of the Sixth District. Lok Ku means District Number Six, and Dori is a street. So it's Street of the Sixth District, and this theme has been picked up all over the place. And when they were doing the you know, street renovation here some years ago, just before I came, they put some new trees in, and they. They chose six trees, so there's six trees on our two-block section, the, the, the Dok Dori. And there's one right in front of our place, which actually blots out most of our sign, which is too bad, but uh, whatever, I'd rather have the greenery. And there's another tree just across the street in front of the cafe. It's a Sahusberi tree. And it partly blew down during the typhoon. It was blown maybe 30 degrees over or something like that, so it's tilted out into the street. And it was the traffic couldn't couldn't get by, so I guess maybe I was the first person up to see it. So I this is not a gigantic tree. It's a, I pushed it back up, upright as far as I could. It has support poles. You know these trees are very young, and you've got support poles, and one of those had broken off. So I pushed it back up so that it was out of the way of the traffic at least, and, uh, and I left it. And then as people woke up during the day, other people saw it, and then the. the uh, street Association, the Merchants Association, the Kaijo said so. So he made a report to City Hall. There must be a you know, greenery department in City Hall. And they didn't come yesterday to fix it, but I think today the greenery maintenance people I think yesterday they were busy with you know trees that fell on railroad tracks and stuff like that, but they'll gradually work their way through the city and clean up our stuff. So. so they may be here today to straighten that up. That's how I'm going to tell you the story. Yeah. That's it.
I haven't heard her yet, so no, she's got a very, very distinctive style. Although, you know, I imagine she's got more than one pair of shoes, so perhaps she's wearing something else today, and we missed it. I don't know. It's not just the actual shoe sound, it's the pace, the mood. Yesterday being my day off from the streaming and stuff, I, I think I was chatting with you about this on Monday, what the plans were for, for the Tuesday, for the day off. I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was stuff like, uh, there's a chance for making a new video, perhaps, because I've been doing preparation for that. That's not a totally different. There had been a chance for making a new video. Oh, I forget what was on there, what else was on the table. I had to get some work done. I've got to get the design finished for the new year, not the new year print, the uh, gift print this year. That was another option for Tuesday's work. And there was a third one. I can't remember what it was. Something went on there. I don't know. Anyway, as you, as you can guess by now where this is going, I know the option that got chosen or selected or done was none of the above. No, no chance for a video. I didn't get any work done on the, on the gift print. Partly because I spent the day actually in the shop dealing with people and, uh, you know, that stuff, that was part of it. But another part of it was because I got up really, 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 really late. Now, don't set the alarm on Tuesdays. And uh, the reason for that was what happened Monday night. Some, yeah, I can't say bizarre experience, just whatever, I know. There was lots of people through on Monday, a normal day for us, you know. And among those people was young, one young man uh, from the Ukraine. He may, he may be listening to this now, so whatever. He's back home, I think, in Ukraine now. He had come to us Monday afternoon. He'd been in Japan for a week or so for a, for a scientific conference and had made a point to come come see us. He's been watching videos and stuff like that, like a normal fare. Anyway, he served for a scientific conference and he picked up a couple of prints and we chatted about this and chatted about that. He said, thanks for the videos. And we had a normal kind of conversation. We have that kind of conversation, you know, basically every day here with people from various parts of the world. And this was around, I don't know, five o'clock or something towards the end of the afternoon. And whatever, he got his prints and he had his backpack there and he put his backpack down on, on a chair and, and we chatted for a bit. And I don't remember the the beginning of it, but whatever. I think I asked him about his work, something like that. He'd been doing work on the tracking radioactivity in the wake of uh, the Fukushima disaster. And he has experience of this because he's worked in the Ukraine. And I guess there's an there's a interesting situation. There's scientists going back and forth. There's a Japanese scientist going over to Chernobyl area to study, you know, the after effects of nuclear trouble. And the, the Russian, or not Russian, I'm sorry, Ukrainian scientists, or perhaps Russian as well, I don't know. Those scientists are, you know, all over this place studying what's going on here. So I think they're changed back and forth. So he was here to, to either attend or give a presentation at that conference. And so we chatted about this now. You know, I was asking him you know, some things about his work. And you know, it was about five o'clock or so. And the conversation started to go all over the place. You know. 5.30 became 6 o'clock, and the staff left, and we chatted a bit more, and it became 7 o'clock. People wandered in the shop, and whatever, in and out, it became 8 o'clock, and we're standing there in front of our shop counter, and it became 9 o'clock. <laughs> And I don't even know the conversation just went all over the world. He explained stuff about his work to me. I interrupted. I asked a question. And it went somewhere else. And we talked about the meaning of life or something or whatever, you know. The stuff that normally happens over a bottle of wine with a half a dozen friends and stuff like that, you know. 
And he and I just stood there in front of this sales counter here. You know, we, if it had been sensible, we would have just gone for dinner or something. But we didn't know. We just talked a bit more and just asked another question or something, and away it goes. And he left at about 11 o'clock to get back to his hotel. So there it was. Like it turned out, it wasn't planned, it wasn't thought of, it didn't even know what was happening as it was going on. But from 5 or 30 or so, or 5 o'clock, whatever time we started chatting, without moving more than one or two meters, just standing right in front of that counter as all the other activity went around us, we, we talked about life for like six hours or whatever. And it was fun. I'm not saying this is a bad stuff. You know, I, I enjoyed the conversation. I, w I would very much like to have more of such conversations. When I was living in Canada, it was a regular thing. You, know, you meet together with your friends, you have a beer or so, or a bottle of wine or whatever, and, and conversations go all over the map. You know? And here in Japan, people don't do that. It's just not a thing. People don't have that kind of conversation. So I've missed that part of my life, you know, for, from, since I've been living here in Japan. So there it was. So as he, as after he left, finally, you know, we both realized that, oh my God, you know, that he's got, I got to get back to my hotel. I'm like, yeah, I think I better go and get some dinner or something. <laughs> I was exhausted, absolutely exhausted. I just got to grab a bite to eat and went to sleep and didn't even think about setting the alarm because luckily this had happened on a Monday night, my one night when there was no, uh, no need to get up tomorrow. So Tuesday morning was sort of a, not so much of, a, okay, let's get up, get out of here and get to work. It was just sort of, oh my God, I think I better get my head together. Gang, it looks like the shoe lady has stood us up today, you know. I mean, everybody takes a day off, I guess. Maybe it was Wednesday her day off, I don't know. We haven't been tracking it that much. Maybe she's been watching the stream and she's been messing with us. She's scared of us and she's got out of here. <laughs> so. <coughs> yeah, sheer printing was another thing on the schedule. Just none of those things happened. None of those things happened. Oh, yeah, movie. I've got video of rats. I didn't get that ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, the list of things that you were supposed to do yesterday but didn't get to. I, know, I didn't waste the day. I was in the shop. It, was, it wasn't the best-selling, record-selling day, okay, but it was a steady, steady day in the shop, and I was here all by myself. Didn't even think of doing print parties. And something else I had to do. You saw me in Monday stream printing those blue backgrounds. I had to finish those yesterday. So I had the printing bench. I used the party bench for doing the printing. So a bunch of stuff got done yesterday, but none of the things that were that were scheduled to get done. And then another thing came up. And, uh, there's party pamphlets here explaining how our print parties work. There's a bunch of them in the in the in a thing outside. What do you what's I forget what it's called? There's a rack outside where print party pamphlets are that people pick up. And yesterday I noticed at one point it was empty, so I come back to the storeroom here, go and look in the print party pamphlet box. And it's empty. It's totally, absolutely empty, the stock of our print party pamphlets. And what's happened is the staff has just gradually picked them up, picked them up, picked them up, and it became empty, and nobody had the brains to tell me that they were taking the last ones. And nobody thought about that. I mean, people are smart, and they're also sometimes not so smart in really obvious ways, and whatever. This is Japan you now, actually, too, without being grossly racist or insulting. A Japanese kid here, as smart as they are, they don't take that extra step. They don't have that extra little bit of imagination to think, hmm. I mean, his normal job was just to go to the box and take them out and put them in the rack. So he does his normal job. The little bit extra thinking says, this is the last one. Hmm. Next week when I come back here, this box will be empty. So I think I better tell Dave that we're out of stock, you know. And they don't do that. Nobody would think about that. It's really strange. They just don't... I mean, I mean, is that out of the box thinking? No, to me that's normal thinking. But they don't do that. Anyway, long story short, we are suddenly 
suddenly, totally out of print party pamphlets in both languages, right before the time we need them most. And I can't just uh, hit the button on reorder with the printing company because we've got to redo the pamphlet. We've got new photographs. We're on the first floor now. All the pamphlet photographs are of the old shop upstairs. So out comes Illustrator this afternoon, this morning, I guess.
Where next? I'm not sure what's staying here and what's not staying. What have I done here? That part stays. A bit confused here what's happening. Ah, oh, I see, okay. This part stays. Stays. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And this stuff comes out. Okay. And we've missed these two dots. That should have stayed. So we're shortchanging this design by two dots. As I mentioned before on Sunday night, we might fill them in later. We'll see. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all be glad when we get to the end of these dots, you know, it's, uh, it seems to be going on forever and ever and ever, but remember this is only because I just do this carving work for a couple of hours a day. If I was a normal carver working at a normal pace, you know, at least whatever, eight, ten hours a day or something, you know, normally. And of course I wouldn't be taking this long. You know, it's a bit of a, we're getting a bit of an exaggerated, distorted viewpoint about how this, how long this process all takes. This block wouldn't have been a day's work, you know, I don't think. Or maybe a day's work. Certainly not uh, weeks of which is what we're seeing. So a bit of a distortion of what you're seeing, you know, feeding through this carving work.
There was another bunch of uh, auctions last night. Some very interesting prints. And uh, you've heard I've chatted with you about this recently. The prices have really, really changed in, in recent weeks slash months. Really gone up. And uh, so last night, uh, this it's just after the first of the month. I think we've payday and stuff, it's all, it's not cleared yet, Cameron hasn't made all the transfers yet, but the payday money is set aside. Subscription money is rolling in from the same subscriptions, mostly people pay on the first of the month, so. So we've got a looking at our monthly, yesterday Cameron and I were looking at our monthly cash flow, the, the cash flow we expect to happen over this month. So I got my budget for, for purchasing prints for the flea market, you know, it doesn't all go on Yahoo auctions, we buy from three or four different sources. We buy at the dealer auctions downtown, we buy from Wedesan, we buy through Toyahanga. We've got a bunch of different places we source the prints that are coming into our, to our shop. You know, I got my monthly budget yesterday based on, you know, where we stood after the payroll was done and stuff like that, and what am I expecting to pay outside printers. But, so, of course, it's the beginning of the month, so the auctions came out, last night's auctions came around. I've got my I've got my wallet full, you know, because I know how much I'm allowed to spend, you know. So I didn't blow it all, of course I didn't blow it all. But what I did was I bid a bit higher on a bunch of these things than I would normally have bid in the past. The past meaning like up to last week or something. You know. Recognizing that you know, prices are rising, whether I like it or not. I had to swallow hard yesterday and say, okay, David, so that's where they are instead of bidding whatever. Uh, 2,500 yen for that item, you can now pay, you know, 3,200 yen for that item or something like this, and just in general. I've upped my amount that I can bid by, I guess, around 20%, maybe. I'm not sure exactly. I, I, I didn't calculate it that way. Because we're looking print by print. Some items we know will sell easily. We know they won't be held here for a long time. Some stuff we know 
it'll take a longer time. It'll take a year or so before somebody comes along and says, I like that object. So there's no single formula I can do for these things. Anyway, long story short, I upped my level of what I'm allowed to bid at. And I won a bunch of stuff last night. Then mixed in with it, there was something else that came up that is not going to be going into the flea market, but it'll be held for our personal collection. There was a set of Adachi prints. You've heard me talk about these things before. There was a set of Adachi prints from the Taisho era. And this is rare, really, really, really rare. Not just pre-war, pre-Showa. This was Taisho stuff, a set of eight prints. And uh, when they get here, we'll do a show and tell. We'll talk about it because they are nice, nice, nice. They won't be going in the shop. We're going to keep them. はい、どうも。あ、じゃあ、あの、どうもどうも、この上に。はい。ありがとうございます。申し訳ないですね。はい。はい、どうも。ありがとうございます。はい。はい、どうも。ありがとうございます。<笑> What's this? Oh yeah, this is auction goods from Monday night. Ho, 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 look at this, already arriving. I bid Monday night, I make the bank transfer sometimes Monday night or sometimes Tuesday morning. When you win an auction, the dealers, I know some of them are flat shipping fee. So if that's if the flat shipping fee is, fee is set, then once you win the auction, the system kicks into effect and you just click through, click through to your bank account and pay it and it's done right there, middle of the night when the auction ends. Sometimes the, it's not a flat fee, the shipping depends on where you are. So you, you do the auction, the ending page, putting your address in, stuff like that. It goes to the person at the other end. And he sees the address, arranges the final amount that's due, sends it back, and you then make payment. And that usually happens the next morning, because a lot of these people are dealers. This one must have been one of the ones that closed, and it was a set shipping fee. So bang, I just made the payment, whatever it was, midnight or something, as soon as the auction finishes. So they get up in the morning, they see the stuff, they make their shipment Tuesday morning. Here it is, Wednesday morning, just arriving. So, Japan Post Office, it's 8.41 in the morning. The shutter is still half open. This was something that was shipped yesterday morning from Chiba, Chiba Prefecture, the neighboring prefecture to us. And of course, it's here. I mean, this is, this is part of living in Japan, you know. Eat your heart out. I don't care. We work hard to make this happen. It's not just something that happens automatically. A lot of people work very, very hard to make this happen. Cameron coming today. Cameron should be here today normally. We didn't get our shoe lady unless she's changed her shoes or changed her timetable or has the day off. I didn't hear her this morning. Cameron should be here basically in a minute now, I think. I don't think he's working at home today. Sometimes he does that. If you're going to be betting, the betting should be on the train ticket. Does he bring a 10-minute late train ticket or something, or is he on time or whatever?
we have any Crow recognition experts here? Can you recognize the voices? <laughs> Are they individuals? Can we tell them apart from their voice? I don't know. I'm not about to get involved in that. Today's the print parties were uh, clearly in autumn rush now, as I mentioned. And uh, there are four parties scheduled today, and three of them are sold out. I think it's five, four, four, and then one so far in the last session of the day, which will probably change as the day goes by. And it's Girls' Day today, it's Wednesday. Sheba San, Audrey, Lei Chan, and they've got their work cut out for them today to be a busy shop and four print parties. So they're going to be hustling today. Hustled, hustling. They're good for it. It's a really competent crew. They're really good at this now. They, they've um, got comfortable how to do it. They're friendly with people. They're happy meeting all these people. The, the gang here today, Audrey San, Shiba San, and Dechan, they really enjoy this. So it's not a chore for them. They're just, they're going to have fun. So I'll be down here with them most of the day because they've got four parties plus a busy shop. It's going to be, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I'll be based down here in the shop today helping them. And I'll be trying to get uh, the work ready on that pamphlet. We've got to get the print party pamphlet up and running. So i got to get Cameron this morning. We've got to get some new photography because the current pamphlet has photographs of the second floor shop, not the first floor shop. So. That's got to be a top priority today to get that done. So, so we might uh, ask some of these people in the first print parties this morning, can we shoot you and use you for the pamphlet? You know, maybe they're about to become media stars. They don't know it yet. So. Might have a treat today. I know Shiba San's coming. I think she's been working on the new print in her ghost series, right? What did she say last week? Did she say she was going to have a proof ready for us today on Wednesday? I wonder if that's going to happen. What did she say last week? I can't remember. Maybe it was two or three weeks ago on a Wednesday. She did the sizing of the paper. possible when shiba -san comes here this morning, we might get a chance to see her new print. No promises. We'll see what happens. It's just possible. 
Anyone working on prints upstairs? So not yet. Um, uh, Sugi-san will be coming through. She's upstairs. Uh, Dei-chan will be here doing her small printing. She's doing one of the prints, Haka Haka Club prints. Ishikawa-san is starting to work on loot number 11. I finished fixing her loot number 10s yesterday, but loot number 11, she's printing upstairs. So there will be three people up there. Are parties busier in autumn, winter? Parties are busy when, when tourists come, which is a peak season in spring, sakura season peak in the middle of the summer and a peak again in autumn although recently for us the peaks just come up and don't go down between the peaks so our, our party season tracks the tourist season to Japan so <coughs> another one came too a phone call came in yesterday I don't know if you know the word kate ga ho one of the main Japanese big fashion magazines. They do, they've been going for decades. It's a high class, high end fashion magazine, like sort of the Japanese version of uh, Vogue or something like that. A lot of high couture, and they do articles about fashion and architecture and you name it, whatever. We, they hit us about two years ago. They came for a print party, they shot the place, and we were in their magazine about two years ago. A woman from their phone a couple of days ago, and she said they're extending their, their reach and they're going to publish a guidebook to Tokyo. And they've gone back through their files and their Rolodex and whatever, looking for stuff that will be interesting for tourists to Tokyo at their level of, of interest. And they want to do us, but they want a whole new set of photography for this. This camera, here you are. Note of your time, 8.52.13. Good morning, camera time. Good morning. Anyway, she called me the other day to arrange this, and she said she had the same sort of requirements as she did the first time. Normally when a magazine, ah, soka soka, this is a delivery. Takibin, or he was, the shutter was half closed, he came under the shutter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sort of they just keep coming earlier and earlier. Whatever, he's got tons of stuff to do, he wants to get it out of here, whatever. So, sorry, just all over there, sorry, whatever. Um, what I was saying, so when they came two years ago, they actually came with some requirements. She came to check the place out before the photography session, and then she asked me, and it was a difficult conversation. She said, um, uh, er, um, uh, there's a little bit of a hole in some of the shoji paper. Um, er, uh, uh, you know, I got the idea. I got what she was getting at. <laughs> this is a super high fashion architecture, perfect magazine, and nothing in those photographs is a whisker out of place, you yeah. know. So, yeah, I got it. Like I said, we'll clean up the room, we'll go through this, blah, 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 blah. And we did. This was two years ago. And we cleaned up the room perfectly as far as I could, you know, down to, you know, that, that only was on my feet or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're back. They're coming back. And this time their request was the same. She knows me now. She knows what, what to do. But she also had a request. Can we do it on a day when there's no customers? They want to shoot a print party on a day with no customers. So they arrange for next Tuesday when we're closed. And the right. deal is they're bringing their own models, models slash actors. They're yeah. bringing lights. They're bringing a makeup girl. Wow. This is going to be like, for, for a couple of hours, high class a, a production. high class yeah. production. I'm really happy. What they're publishing is a guidebook to Tokyo. That's yeah. all it is, Tokyo guidebook. Yep. But and you're in at this level of, of, of production. So I, I'm laughing all the way, all the way, laughing all the way to the bank. Maybe yeah. who knows what will happen here. This is camera. Let me turn it over. I'll get back to my carving here. Did they pay last time? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I, it was a... Uh, I, I, because they're they, advertising they, for so, you. So, so, yeah. so, 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 you know, if, if we request and stuff, of course, but yeah. no, no, no. And here, there'd be no money involved. This thing, this is an actual guidebook, a real, and I was a bit curious about that, because yeah. guidebooks in the West, Lonely Planet type stuff, there's never any change of money changing hands. Right. Japanese guidebooks are pay to play. Yeah. So they show you the prices, you decide where you want to pay. This is a Japanese guidebook, right. but it seems that it's, it seems so far that it's running under Western rules. Because yeah. there was no discussion of, you know, how yeah. much we would pay to get two pages and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Camera Sam, the shoe lady didn't come by this morning, just to oh, say, no. Or I, she's or I was away. talking too much, or she had softer shoes, or, or she's got a day off or something, I don't remember. So. She heard you're onto her, You've noticed that she's coming by. I don't really think that's possible. But <laughs> no. She's watching Twitch as she walks down the street. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a suit? Good morning, everyone. Hello. 
I was up there. I bought more prints last night, and all for you know stuff for sale. Oh yeah. And I, as I said, I've pushed about twenty percent or so. Mm. How far I'm willing to bid. Yeah. And it turned out okay. So I got a set of Utamata reproductions that I think I wouldn't have won under okay. the previous, and I've got them here now. So that's great. Uh, you well, to yeah. keep things in stock. Yes, but at you know, price, again, yeah. the retail prices are going to be up. I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm not changing the whole shop more dramatically, but yeah. if I pay more, bit by bit by bit. You know. Yeah. We don't price things. We price things individually based on what they cost us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cody and Gavin says, I can. Now that I saw you, I can go to bed. Old habits. <laughs> I can see weights what, until what, I what? show up every day. What? Wait, wait. His life is complete. What? What's this? What's this? <laughs> I missed that. I don't know. You can go to bed after. I can. Oh, okay. What it means is the daily routine is now progressing now complete, as, yeah. yeah, whatever, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dinner, bath, whatever. Yeah. Say hi to Cameron. Yeah. Days over, you know. Whatever. Yeah. So, I see. So not in any any strange thing. It just seems to be daily habits, right. routines. Okay. Yeah. Magic carp salesman says, "You need to enable subs. I am waiting for a Dave Morning emote. I need it." <laughs> morning, as in who's died now? Morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> not afternoon or evening. <laughs> Dave is in mourning, or yeah. Dave is in the morning. Yeah. Sad picture of Dave and the Dave morning emote. Well, speaking of sad Dave, I got a, a few YouTube comments overnight that we're, oh. uh, we're starting to develop more and more uh, semi-hostile comments, you know. Oh. We've never had this before, but... The channel on which to, video? I, I don't even know, just on the... On the nothing to do with you, oh. but just... Uh, <sighs> Dodge that bullet. There was a few. I know one was about the remembering a carver. Thing. Really? You know, I had used the phrase in that video. I said, "Here I am. I've killed one of Japan's top carvers." You know, yeah. I was speaking metaphorically. Right. He was a very sick old man. He died. You know, within days of being part of one of our events. Right. So, well, this guy's calling. I forget what it exactly said. Okay, there you are. First, you kill one of the old carvers. Then you steal his tools. And now you're sitting there looking at the video so you can steal all his techni techniques. You know, <sighs> what an asshole you are, you know, this kind of thing. So, wow. I thought, um, I don't think that's quite what happened, but whatever, there's that, that viewpoint is out interesting. there. Interesting. You know, interesting. So. Hmm. Good day. Yep, the trolls have found you, Dave. I thought it was Teflon. I thought it was YouTube and Twitch Teflon. You know, nothing sticks. But, uh, all good things come to an end, and there I am. Now I'm just another YouTuber. Dun, dun, dun. There was a kind of a robot, or, or not robot, a spam mail came in last night from. Uh, it's one of these YouTube, uh, what are they called, channel network, you know, blah, blah, blahs, where you're supposed to coordinate your channel with people in the other part of the network and, right. and feed off on each other and blah, right. blah, blah, blah. And it said, you, and it must have been a semi-robot thing based on how many subscribers we have, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a letter to David Ball, which is the name that's at the top of the channel, so right. it's just pick the channel, you know, and it's a, yeah. you are ready to become one of the YouTube's prime enablers, or not enablers, what's the word, I don't know. Influencers. Influencers, influencers. Yeah. So, 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 so. Join our channel and partner with these people. They clicked. I, I went to see the thing, the website, and it showed a bunch of YouTubers' faces, all these young people who are influencers or influencing makeup and travel yeah. and all that stuff, you know. They, yeah. Well, I've never seen a more repulsive group of people in my entire life, and wow, now I can join that group and whatever. Wow. You know, so. I can sit with the cool kids at yeah. the lunch table. I can be. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there, Cameron. No. Is, there, is there something in your background now coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Repressed memories coming back to the top. I'll go upstairs. <laughs> no. Well, I saw that picture. This could, they don't, I mean, their robot doesn't know who's talking to right. So I should send back my photograph and hear, yeah, I can join that group of yeah. kids. Yeah, they're all blonde and, you know, whatever. And there's the obligatory black girl or something yeah. like this and whatever. It's, yeah. I can join that crowd of YouTube 
enablers and, and whatever it is. Influencers. Influencers. Yeah. Influencer David Bull. What should we influence? You know, fashion, makeup? Well, people talk about my shirts, you know, yeah. so, so maybe that should be it, you know. Thank I can you. set a new trend for it. Somebody mentioned it. Dave, where do you get your pinstripe shirts? Somebody yeah. mentioned that the other day. So. The store? I thought <laughs> pinstripe shirts were something that Wall Street dudes wear. But uh, <laughs> is, that, is that the confusion there? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. People are guessing that that comment was actually an attempt at some macabre humor or something, but I don't know. If it no, had that last line so. about, I can't believe you're doing this or something. No, I don't think so. It was a, it yeah, I'm sure it was a person. Genuine. Should, should we look at it? Because it's right there. It's in the top of the comment uh, feed. Okay. I don't know. Can I just can't comment here this for a minute? Yeah. Where, I go up to... Oh, it's going to start you, the video. Ah, oh, so can you go into the... It'll be the back one window there. Go into comments. And it's just right... Looks like you're getting a lot of... No, it's a radio. Oh. Here. Right? So copy and paste oh. that into there. I think that it's not a robot. That's that's a... It's whatever. Oh. A guy making a, his viewpoint. Yeah. yeah. And the kind of stuff that we... One word. Oh, okay, I see. So this is, this is the comment someone left. Yeah. I'm just sending yeah. it through. Yeah. A new Maui. Hello. Uh, somebody yeah, from Britain, I guess, because he's using British expressions there. Nick. Nick, yeah. In stolen or whatever. Nick's you know. tools. So whatever, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad, you know. I don't care. I can't say I don't care, but whatever. There's people that get it, people that don't get it, people that like us, people that don't like us. And so far it's been so positive that maybe I've been a bit spoiled, you know. So. King Kiko says, I honestly think that is a joke, but really? I don't okay. know. Well, maybe, maybe I'm overthinking this then. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. If, if that's the case, I'm happy. I'm still perfect. Uh, so. I'm still perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Were there some dots in that section? Too? There was. And they, they, it's already carved down. I missed three or four dots. What happened was I didn't see it the other day. Uh, I cut this out before this got pasted down. Got it. So the, the reason I've just cut that one because it's already below level, below sea level. Mm. So what we're going to do, we talked about this the other day, uh, if it looks like it's a bit bare in that area because there are a couple of missing dots, and I kind of doubt that, but if it does look a little bare, hmm. then what we'll do, we'll find a place on the corner of one of the blocks and we'll cut three or four dots in there and use that. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a oh, screw up, so no way around it. You know, I'm really getting, uh, as I said, I'm no longer perfect, so whatever. <laughs> Dave is perfect, Dave forever. <laughs> My carving skills are so huge. Okay. Oh, that guy also can't spell. Indeed, he used the wrong your. Yeah, but that's yeah, that I, I'm comment. I used to be quite um, sarcastic about that when I yeah. saw that in a comment or a comment or, or yeah. any kind of comment. Okay, this guy's brainless. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But there's this thing called auto spell. You know. Yeah. And I myself, I'm getting caught by that time and time again. Yeah. Now. So I'm, I'm a bit more uh, easygoing with those your, your mistakes because mm -hmm. a lot of them are not, you know, in, intelligence mistakes, a lot of them are simply, whatever, the way we're typing, yeah, things, yeah. typing and yeah, all typing and stuff. Yeah. I used to be a bit of a stupid grammar Nazi, the it's, if there's an apostrophe in the wrong place, I'd yeah. really be disgusted by that person. I'm not going to answer your email if you can't even put the apostrophe in the right place. But having seen enough of my emails go out now with the same thing, I realized that, okay, uh, Dave, settle down. There are things to worry about, and there are things not, not to worry about. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. Not always successful. But if I see a business email from you, go out, you know, oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. I was saying before, before you came in about the, when I left the stream on Monday, I mentioned all the things that were on my list of things to do for Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to get them all done, but I was going to pick from that menu. It might have been a day for making a new video of David's Choice number seven is already coming up, you know, yep. or it was a question, maybe I should do 
the gift brand, get that finally organized and settled and get the carving started on that. Mm -hmm. Or I had to, uh, I'm forgetting all the things that were on the list, I can't remember, but there was a bunch of bunch of things on the list that were really quite important. And yeah. Elijah, we realized I didn't do any of them. Opening the store had something to do with it. It was yeah. a busy day in the shop. It was a busy day. Then finishing off that blueprinting on Ishikawa-san stuff. It yeah. took a long time because of the interruptions all the time. Yeah. So I didn't get anything done on the list. And then now we're faced with another little emergency. The pamphlets are out. Yeah. So today we must, this morning, I mean this is zero, zero level priority, top yeah. level priority. Yeah. We need new photographs this morning okay. that we can use for the new pamphlet. And at a minimum, that means photographs outside the building. Yeah. At a maximum, if we can talk to one of this morning's print parties, there's two full print parties. That's four print parties today. Oh, wow. It's five, four, four, one at the moment. Whoa. Yeah. And if we can get some good shots, okay. and with permission from yeah. the people involved, that can maybe do the new front page. The UVO models. <laughs> Whatever, show them the current pamphlet and say, we're looking mm -hmm. for photographs. We can't promise you anything at this point right now, but let me take some test pictures today, and if it turns out we're okay, can we ask, get your permission to yeah. do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we got to get it off the print company, because we are now out. Like, this, that's it. What's that's over there is it. it. Now, whoever took the last ones upstairs, I don't want to get... I talked about this in the stream earlier. Whoever yeah. took the last ones, like, didn't think to actually, you know, maybe say... They're we're well, low, no yeah. Pamphlets, you know, so... Um, Anyway, that's top priority today. Whatever else you're doing, I'm not sure, but okay. please let's do that yep. as well. Okay. Are we getting a glamorous Instagram post next Tuesday with you all made up for the <laughs> modeling? Uh, for the, for the cut, I was telling you about the cut yeah. table whole thing, yeah, right. when you walked in. I don't know, I, know. I, I won't be able to use those photographs. They're going to take yeah. photographs themselves. Those will not be photographs that I have access to. Right. They're going to go in the new guidebook. Right? Yeah. So no, it won't, we won't be seeing anything from me, but um, maybe I'll, I'll get down and see if I can take a picture of him. You guys working. That'll be next nice Tuesday. I don't know what time they're coming still. I asked okay. her, she says, we haven't, we haven't got it all organized yet. So okay. she says, it doesn't matter. I said, no, just, it's all your call. Just let me know Yeah. sometime okay. next Tuesday. So, so we're ready. So it means no only. I'll have to bring it up. Speaking of... Oh, did they, are we supposed to go, am I supposed to be going out there to assemble all those new shelves, or is that something they're going to do themselves? Or I, I haven't had any updates. I haven't anymore. said okay. anything. I think she's been inundated with yeah, the... Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. ...wave Work. of orders yes, yes, and so things, so. so. Just would it keep, keep on it and okay. find out what they're wanting. But if they want me to go out there right now, it's not going to be on the curtains. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, sounds tight too, so yeah. How are the new Hasui prints coming on? Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, good, I meant to mention, thank you, thank you, thank you, whoever this is. It took Tantar. me. He finished last night. Whoa, the, the, that was the, fast. The key block version is now finished, and the blue, the dark blue sky version is now finished. Okay, and that they're one. All in, they're all in the drying boards. Okay. Waiting to be dried. I mean, they, they are. they'll be dry now this morning. Yeah. And Kawai-san said, what should we do? Because he won't be here now until next Saturday for his right. next normal shift. Yes. So I think it's time to pull those out of the drying boards today. Yep. The girls upstairs can help us with this. So uh, we can, the we'll, owner of the blocks would like some scans of them before we send them okay, over. As, as it is, you, you can, you, this is on your team. And then we've got to count and check. And Kawai sounded a bit crestfallen last night. I think the guy wanted 80, the publisher wants 80, and he doesn't think there's 80 good ones. Uh, he put 90 sheets in, but he's not sure where the cutoff is. Right, right. So that's up to you and me today to look at okay. those. And uh, it, it's time, I think, before we ship these, we have to start arranging our first payment because. Uh, yeah. It's time. There's the test printing that was yep. done that needs to be paid for. There's the, yep. and then the bill for these first two batches mm -hmm. of the. And he said in the past he's ready to pay any time. We just want to wait until we have. Is the juice done thing worked out? Because you know, that was what Kawasan was asking. Are, are we supposed to yeah. emboss these prints? And I said no, no, nope, no, no. We no, aren't nothing. doing the embossing. I have the design all made. We we're waiting for one last item to go on the juice bond, but I think we probably shouldn't wait anymore and I just get so it made. Well. Okay. I think so. I think so. What okay. was what was still not decided? The what is that called? Calligraphy for the book name for the other project that uh, someone's Kickstarter campaign wanted to help with. The calligraphy for the book name. Do I know about for that? the dragon in the clouds? Oh, that thing. That yeah. Thing. Yep. All sorts of things going on. I thought we could fit all the Jushi Bana together, but so looks like 
Uh, I even sent to check out for a while, so am I in trouble on that? We're going to be printing some of those, and it was going to be Aisa. Uh, oh, she's gone now again. Oh, no. Okay. We may be in trouble. We'll see. Because it's her or me, I think. Yeah. How many copies are we talking about? I think 10 or so. Oh, okay. It's not a big batch. Yeah. So something I could do on the stream. Yeah. Or yeah. But I think... What's the schedule? No, uh, they still haven't sent that one. Or the is their campaign finished or is it a campaign they haven't started yet? I think it's finished, but he has until the beginning of the year or something. I don't know if that's the one uh, Kantar was asking about. Maybe it is, but I think it might have been one in Yamamoto is also printing a new Hasui print. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah. new old Hasui. Yeah, a new old one. So that one's. So no, but... mm -hmm. That one's coming along. He, we don't have a deadline. He's just working on it in the okay. evenings. He does his normal day job during the day. Okay. Works for us in the evenings. Good. It'll be. He's got what did I give him? Sixty sheets? Thirty sheets? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not sure. It'll be a week or so. Yeah, be at least. It could be yeah. more. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He's on a no deadline and a crop on that one. Got it. Unlimited Rage Works says, wait, has Ayumi-san quit? She did. doesn't quit. Well, you, you can yeah, tell She's me. got a baby, as someone else already just mentioned, and it's been harder and harder as the baby has grown a little older to find time and be able to dedicate focus on no, printing, no, no, it no. seems. Is that what's going no, on? No, no, no. What's the story? She, she quit to have the baby. Not right. quit. She, she left to have yeah. the baby, of course, and said, see you when I see you. Right. And we thought it was going to be years before she could get back. Right. And the baby was born in April. And then sometime around a month ago or so, I guess, she came in one day to say, hi, and how are you doing? And she said, look, I'd like to try actually coming in to do some work. Is there a way that you can do it so that the baby can sleep next to me while I do my printing work? Yeah. So our staff are always on the side. We still have some space upstairs where your office used to be before yeah. you moved downstairs, before the shop moved downstairs. Yeah. So we had a bit of open space, so, so Aoyama-san prepared a cubicle for her a, with a printing bench and a place where the baby could sleep and curtains or stuff so she could feed, breastfeed the baby, blah, blah, blah. This was about a month ago or so. Yeah. And aimi san came in and tried it. We set up a workbench, gave her a couple of simple jobs. You know, she said, give me something simple to start with because, you know, it's going to be baby, baby, baby. Yeah. And it didn't quite go so well. She'd put the baby down, the baby would go, ah, 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 and she would stop and pick it up. And this goes on and on and on and yeah. on and on and on. So her mother, uh, her grandmother lives, one, one of her grandmothers lives uh, in Tokyo here. Yeah. So, so she got in the habit of coming over here to do printing, calling her yeah. grandmother to hold the baby. And that's the way it worked for the past few weeks. They've been trying that. Mm -hmm. And it really, really hasn't worked out. Grandma's okay with us. She's cool with what's going on. But there has been so much interruption. Aimi san really can't do more than three or four or five minutes at a time before putting the tools down and getting over there and doing this. And it really hasn't been practical. Yeah. I myself thought it wasn't going to work because, my God, the kid is a kid, you know. But in the interest of cooperating with her, we set this up and, and gave it mm -hmm. a try, absolutely. Yeah. And when she did this last print, she's turned it in. They're really, really nicely done. But they took a month to do two little postcards you know, prints. Yeah. And she said, look, this isn't working out. Uh, let me just sit back at home for a while and let's think about this, what to do, what to do. Yeah. And so she's off printing again for us. And she and I talked about this. Uh, she is a, she has the skills for making barons. So yeah. I said, I'm saying, you know, at home, you know, maybe what about starting a baron thing? And we'll happily make a web page for this and show it and take orders for, for barons if you want to do that. Yeah. And she said, really, would you do that? I said, would I do it? Give me five minutes to get it set up and we'll get it going, you know. <laughs> I can't guarantee you sales, but we can certainly, whatever, we can talk about it and make a yeah. web page and expose it. You know? mm -hmm. And she said, well, I'm not sure because of what Goto-san, the, the guy who taught her how to right. make barons. And she's worried about opening up and stepping on his territory because there's an, an awful lot of sales for, for handmade barons. And she yeah. doesn't know. So I said, look, it's up to you. I know he, he trained you. He knows you're out in the world. He has no exclusive license on the idea of making a traditional baron. Yeah. And why don't we just phone him and talk about it, you know? So she said, let me think about it, let me think about it. So that's where it's sat at the moment. So she's off printing for a while. She may start making barons. That's all I can report at the moment, you know. And the kid now, born in April, means it's now five, five six months. months. Yeah. And I think this kid is about to get 
mobile as in crawling around and then standing around. So I think any sense that she feels that she can do work over the next few months is, uh, she's just, just, she's just in a fantasy world. It's not going to happen. The kid is still in a crying mode and it's about to get super mobile. So I mean, son, just do your mother thing. And, you know, yeah. We'll stand by when you're ready. We'll support you when you're ready. Yeah. But right now, please, just do the mother thing. You know, that's what the kid needs. And, you know, mm -hmm. So long story short, I'm sorry, whatever. I always make these things too long. Yeah, I could have just said, no, she's gone home to take care of her baby. But yeah. Whatever. Okay. We tried that. We tried. Yep. The other pregnant mother with us, not pregnant, the other new mother with us, Kanai san, is working fabulously well. She's extremely productive. She's under a different circumstance. Her baby is now, her child is now two or nearly two. Yeah. And Kanai san is living with her mother who is just all, all over the baby, you know, ready to do completely the, the, the childcare thing in the same home. Yeah. So Kanai San sets up the bench in the morning, gets to work, and then the, her mother does the childcare. Yeah. It's like a traditional three generation household. You know? mm -hmm. So she's super productive. Every few days, bang, here they come, another batch of prints, another batch of prints. You know? yeah. So that's a success story. And at some point, maybe Aimi San will get in that situation, but it's still too early to yeah. get. So Mokohankan and babies were, were partly okay with this. I mean, we, you know, partly successful with this, and mm -hmm. partly uh, still a bit frustrated by finding a way to make it work. Yeah. The girls should be getting here somewhere. Aren't they? Where I is just saw Bei Chan walk by. I don't know why she walked by instead of coming in. Well, get her back upstairs or something. No, she went that way. <laughs> I get her a regular lunch rate. She maybe looked, she looked at the schedule. She can see the party schedule, five, four, four, bang, bang. Got it. And she's thinking, I gotta get my lunch ready right now because yeah. there ain't gonna be time to go out and get it later, so. Which is what I should do also because it's going to be a day in the shop here. Sounds like it. What I was hoping is Shibisa might show up and she might have her print, you know, the, the test printer for a new ghost series print. That's what I was hoping because she teased us about it last Wednesday. Right. Well, no, not she said it's getting close. So, so if I'm just sitting and waiting for her footsteps to come, and where's your print, Shibasan? Let's show everybody. I also, I wasn't so personally happy with the way she's printed it when I saw it last week, but you know, I keep my mouth shut. This is not my publication, you know. Mm. I, it's a, her previous ghost print was a moody, moody graveyard, grayish toned scene, which really suited the graveyard, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This one's an action print. There is a guy killing this monster spider and blue blood is spurting everywhere and yeah. a woman is screaming and there's stuff going on and yet she's printed it in a sort of a still a moody soft style yeah and maybe that's her house style that's cool but i think this one demands much bolder yeah bolder color hmm. and, uh, printing so i can't you know what can i say i don't know so i have to keep quiet you know, i'm not the publisher of this we're going to be the distributor of it it's going right. to be sold through here but it's not my conception, not my publishing, not my editing. I can't put my thumb on the scale, you know. Yeah. But I think it should be bolder. She was like, make it jump into their face. Look at the blood. Throw the blood in their face. Don't just sort of pretend it's not there. Trickle it. Yeah. I mean, it, it is an axe held high, always. You know, the axe is already struck, struck once or twice or three times. There's, yeah. there's this blue blood flying off the axe. Yeah. So this is an action print. So make people feel it. Good morning. Bobby san hello, hello, hello. Morning. Are you ready for today? Have you looked at the schedule? <laughs> oh my God. They're not all, no, no, they're not all written. There was more during the night. So the paper scheduler doesn't match. At the moment, it's five four four one. At the moment, uh, five four four one. Okay. And it looks like pretty clearly I'll be down here today working with you guys too, because uh, it's going to be a day. Sounds like an Ikiyo Heroes Prince title. X held high. Could be. That could be.
Rainbow Submarine asks, how do you keep track of what is excess wood and what is a dot? Well, I think we say sometimes, I mean, what can I say? The dots are dots, what can I say? There's the dots, you cut around yeah. them. Everything that's not a dot will be coming off. What's confusing in this particular way of doing this is that these lines in this area here, this line's gonna stay. This has to stay and this has to come off and yet they're both white. And, you know, I can't go back and explain the whole thing. We were doing this in a two-stage process. Yeah. I first pasted it on the key block. I, I pasted it on the key block line, transferred, mm -hmm. which gave me the position of this line, the one I'm just re 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 incising now. Yeah. That information came from the key block, so I carved that first. And normally that would be the end of it, but because we also need dots, I couldn't get that information from the key block, mm -hmm. so I then had to paste down a second trace. So we've got the result of the carving first stage, this line here. And now this is carving second stage. Well, you can see the black. We're keeping the black dots and removing the area in between. Yeah. So I'm sorry this is a bit confusing. Yeah. That's okay. And on the camera, maybe on this screen, maybe it depends on pe different people's screens, but the dots are very hard to see depending on the shadows and the way you've turned well, really, it. So. I've got them pretty clear. And uh, the dots yeah. for me are... In real life, dots, yeah, they're very I? clear. But well, can we... On the camera... Some of them are pretty hard to tell. Okay, let's find a place that's not carved. Here, let's go over here. Okay, there it's very clear. This is, this is the small octopus that we haven't started yet. The lines are carved from the first stage, and these are on the second stage. So this will be a question of clearing out what's white and leaving the black dots. But it's mm -hmm. also confusing because some of these lines will also be left. So, yeah. I'm sorry, it's just not easy to explain this one. It's a confusing two-stage process. And, uh, regular viewers and people have been following this a long time so they have an idea about how yeah. this goes but uh, well, was like, Mas, good morning for the second I time you walk by yeah and i wave get your lunch you right sorry <laughs> going to get your lunch oh no i just want to um, you got lost picture. take pictures nice yes. take a picture of mokohanka around the shrines and all oh, okay. cool. i didn't go inside so is that a school project oh no no it's just i like to take pictures she likes to take photos. She's been here a year, and now we're finding out about her stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a big camera, too. Instagram, hey. Instagram. You can take a uh, oh, really pretty camera. photos. Oh. Yeah. Do you have an Instagram page? Yes. No way. We find this out now? All right, quick, quick, quick. Come on, quick. What is it? What's what it called? What is it? Type it into the thread, Cameron Sun. Is it a private page, or people can see it? Or? I have both, but I'm photography and have it's better. Oh, so you got what, a family page and stuff? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All these secrets coming out, don't you? <laughs> Cameron has a there photography is. page on Instagram too. He's been oh, taking pictures yeah. so. But I, we haven't updated it in like a year and a half. <laughs> cool. All right. Over. Hey, that's pretty neat. What kind of stuff? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell a me. Frozen tell me. clover? Yeah. That is really it cool. Yeah. Have you typed into the thread so people can see what you're seeing? Okay. Is it okay if we share this with everyone? All right. You're going to get a lot more followers. <laughs> She's going to get a lot more followers, okay, guy? <laughs> Just kidding. Do whatever you want. How much is this worth to you, Deja? Yeah. <laughs> what should we charge? <laughs> you know what this is? That's predictable. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, when young girls start saying to me, I knew you were going to say that, we know the You're end is near. <laughs> Where's Shiba Sound? This is what I'm worried about. Where is Shiba Sound? What kind of stuff? I can't see this. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, some nice nature pictures and hikes, it looks like. Um, I like this city night shot with the uh, Ferris wheel in the middle there. Look at this, wow, yeah. that's Yokohama. That must be that's near fun. Yokohama, right? She lives down near that yeah, area. Was that Yokohama? Minato Mirai? Yeah, Minato Mirai. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. And the sunset through a window. Yeah. Are you like training to do um, photography or just simply just pointing and shooting and thinking about it or what's the taking lessons or something? Or? Oh, no, you just no, enjoy it? Really for fun. Mm -hmm. But how are you sort of learning how to do this and you know how to do f stops? Thank you for asking my like, um, photographer on the internet. Hey. Or asking my grand grandfather because oh, he oh, used oh. to be a professional photographer. Oh wow. And that's how I got my camera. So, so what lens are you using for most of this work? 
Do you have a bunch of different lenses, or are you just um, using? Yes, but I use the one that has like 50 millimeters to like half 300 or something. Oh, okay, typical. Okay, yeah. yeah. But then um, it's the wrong type. I'm using like full. Size. Oh, full but frame lens, but you have a crop ASPC. sensor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, so you speak the language. Oh, listen to this. Wow, 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 wow. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm happy with that. Thank you, thank you. That's wonderful. I might have to delegate some Instagramming. <laughs> well, the more people can do these things, yeah, better. this is not bad news no, at all. I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> it's great to spread it around. Oh, I have no idea she was in tennis, but I don't know. Magikarp sales. And says, I wish I had an employer who cared about cameras. <laughs> what do you do for work? <laughs> do, do, I wish I had an employer that cared about cameras. I guess, because you said you, or you, you know about the cameras and you care what she's doing. Well, I'm not expert at all. Not at all. But I, I, I mean, when she said that comment about the full frame, so yeah. I understand what she's talking about. Yeah. I mean, don't, sort of, don't we all at this yeah, point? Yeah. There, you know. <laughs> yeah. All this interesting cameras at the moment of their potential death at the hands of the smartphone. You know, yeah. And the fight back, these you know, mirrorless things, it's a big, big, yeah. big deal here in Japan now. Yeah, now that yeah. Nikon or Nikon or yeah, they're all, all they're, they're all in, and yeah, so, so. it's their last chance to survive by yeah. finding this new thing, you know, that the smartphones can't do. So. Sony's been doing mirrorless for a while, but finally the other companies have jumped well, in. Well, they've had to, they've yeah. had to. If they don't bring up something that makes people go out and buy another camera, they're dead in the water. Yep. Isn't anybody going to go and buy a Rebel now? Yeah, no reason to at all. The smartphones have got so close. Yeah. I've been checking new, new comparison pages and stuff, the new photographs from the new line of Apple stuff, you know. Yeah. Or whatever it's cherry picking, I know, but my God, there's some astonishing things. Mm -hmm. She's already gained six followers. <laughs> That's all? That's and so much for our Twitch power. Yeah. <laughs> It's only been a few minutes. So much for my influencer. That yeah. Those guys that sent that spam the other day, you can be a real in join our team of heavy influencers. That's right. I put my yeah. finger on somebody and they gain six, six followers. followers. <laughs> yeah. They pull heavy influencer. <laughs> yes, I'm probably a Luddite. I don't own a smartphone. This stream is cutting edge for me. <laughs> Technology by to be watching stream, you mean, yeah. I guess uh, so. Very the same category as my mother. Where's Shibasan? I need her today really badly. If she yeah. doesn't come, if there's a train problem, oh, he must have. Good, good, good. You can't die. I can breathe again. Shibasan, good morning, good morning. Oh, Kuniyoshi t shirts. Yes, so, Kuniyoshi. Kuniyoshi. Show us your breasts. Show us your. Uh, whatever. I have no, this is. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Good morning, good morning. Calendar me master. Party calendar. Hi, I know. Yonkai. Go nin, yong nin, yong nin. Did people get a glance at the, the print of the, the joke there? She has a t-shirt with three Kuniyoshi prints plastered across yeah. the front of it. You know. I think she ran off too yeah, fast. Yeah, she ran off too fast. It's, uh, can I ask her to show everybody? It's not, is it okay or not? I don't know, whatever. 
It's a very famous Kuniyoshi friend. Hmm. It's a, he did a woodblock printer, or his publisher did a woodblock print of scribbles on a warehouse wall, a yeah. Kuda Makabe, oh. an editor storehouse. And somebody hmm. had done these. Have you seen it? Do you know what I mean? No. No, you got to look at it then. Okay. I mean, if you, you can look at it, yeah. without, you know what it is. It's a really, really famous Ukiwe print, yeah. and it's it's a print made of graffiti, huh. graffiti on a on a warehouse wall in Edo in like 1865 huh. or something, and somebody has drawn some scratch scratchy pictures of the famous uh, kabuki actor yeah. along with some not so reproducible yeah. commentary. You know, it's like it's like washroom yeah. wall stuff, you know, and huh. they, they published a triptych three Ukiwe prints of this, and it was apparently a bestseller. Wow. And it's famous now, still, it's famous. That's we would funny. never reproduce it ourselves because it's just too, it's just too grotesque. But there it is, it's a famous Ukiwe woodblock print huh. of graffiti on the wall of a, warehouse. of a warehouse in like 18, whatever year it is, I'm on Miss Court, 1860, yeah. 1870, whatever. It must be linked all over the internet. Now, yeah. John Becker, someone's going to come up with a link for it here in a minute. Um, yeah. If you Google Kuniyoshi graffiti woodblock mm. or Kuniyoshi Ukiwe graffiti or something, it'll come up. And, yeah, that's on that's on Shibasan's T-shirt. Oh, cool. the three of them. Yeah. And it's either hilarious or grotesque, depending on your point of view, you know. And how well you read classical Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> is it just images, or was there wording? No, it's images and wording. wording. Okay. The wording is in, you know, the wording of the day, of course. Got it. And a lot of I, we don't understand because it's it's a some joke made that made sense in 1860 or whatever. Yeah. You know. Do you think she has any of her prints today? I, I, whatever she ran by too quickly. Yeah. She Question one, did she bring any with her? And question two, will she show them to us? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I hear them it's laughing. Become, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's, what? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? Does she have any? She said she no. She didn't bring this. Oh. She's carved one more block, and with this one, it's become much more interesting. It has become ha ha, whatever that. What? Means. What? What? <laughs> That's what she said. So Nothing. Ha ha. Nothing. 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 She shocked herself with how interesting the bit how, But I'm not sure if interesting is the word. It could be this is good, good bad, bug bad. feature. We don't know where we're at here. It could be, oh, oh where am I yeah. at here? You know, what so. have I done? Yeah, what have I done exactly? <laughs> So I'm sorry for the disappointment. No, it's not here. I thought it was going to be here today. Sorry about that. I wasn't trying to tease, actually. I was, myself, I am slightly disappointed not to see it, but uh, whatever. There's another day. Tomorrow is another day. Shiva-san's laughter is ominous sounding. Yeah, that's, uh, when we were sitting here, listen, with cameras talking about that doesn't sound like she's going to be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's fine. We'll save the pleasure for another day. Yep. She'll be here next Wednesday, and... <laughs> Are the tiny wood carved islands more about catching ink or making an impression on the paper? They do catch ink, but they did they leave a little or they do leave they an impression both. just they like any, so they any other leave it like an embossment slash because they're so small. Any small areas that you print, you have to be careful because if you rub too hard with your rubbing tool, the baron, they push too hard, they push mm. too far, and you can easily damage paper printing oh, a block okay. like this yeah. by pushing them in too far. Mm. Mm. So you have to print very carefully, very lightly, very softly. Got it. But yes, they will print. They won't be black. They will be orange dots or orangey colored right. octopus mottled texture. Ah, so Audrey, so this ne gets you be no deji arimasu. Ga kaiyobi iru iru atta nde. So, zenzen sawara na katta. So. She's trying to wrestle with getting the cash balanced, and it, what's happened is Monday the staff balanced it as they left on Monday night, and normally the staff would now come in Wednesday, they would check that balance, start a new day's balance, and away they go. But Tuesday we were open, but I didn't do the cash balancing at night. I deal, whatever, I'm the boss, so I can get away with not following instructions, whatever. 
So what they've got now is they've got Monday night's cash balance with the cash from Tuesday thrown into the drawer semi-randomly. Now they're trying to figure out what did David do yesterday. So they go back, look at the transactions, see which ones were credit card, which yeah. don't affect the cash drawer, see which ones were cash, which do affect the cash drawer. Well, I think it'll balance because I did my job properly yesterday. I made change yeah. and did all that stuff. I didn't mm -hmm. take any money out. So it will balance, but they're going to have to go back and, and do a step-by-step -step work it out. Got it. Sean Yin's princess. Maybe a show and tell Friday? If we're talking about Shiva Sun's prince, no, no she's uh, only in on Wednesdays. Wednesdays yes, so, so. But I guess there may be Yahoo auctions arriving on Friday. What if there's know. Yahoo auction stuff arriving, you know, every, every day? day? Or not just Yahoo auctions, other auctions, and yeah. one on whatever stuff like this. You know, so. Show and tell is, you know, it's here when it's here. I don't, you know, I don't want to make that a, a scheduled part of these, these, these things, you know. I've always got stuff by the side of my table here, you know. Yeah. And if there's a stream, perhaps, maybe, for example, if I had been really good on these dots and gone quicker and I've got 15 minutes left, we would have, you know, spent time showing something. I don't want to, you know, what's the word? Uh, I don't want to make it a regularly scheduled part of these things. Just sometimes yeah. there are, there's a show and tell. Hmm. Yeah, there's a question about your fingernails. Oh, cutting again, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. My hair needs cutting, my fingernails need cutting, my beard needs trimming. Yeah, I think one part of that fingernail thing is I, with the current situation of the gas machine upstairs, these cold showers, they're okay, I'm, I'm still with the program, but I tell you, when I get out of the shower, sitting there carefully trimming my nails and that stuff is not what I'm thinking about. I just want to get my clothes back on and get warm. <laughs> get warm, again. yeah. Our, for those who don't know, our gas heater upstairs is still on the kaput. Yeah. It went kaput in late spring, and I've been just having cold showers every morning, and it is now October. It's getting cold. And I'm, yeah, it's getting cold, so. So yeah, I get out of that shower, and it's just one thing. Close and get in the warm. warm. <laughs> <laughs> also, something I, also I meant to mention, we have to check this morning all the... Traps. I'm, I'm, yeah, there are traps, because there could be... I don't even know get where they trouble. are. Do you know where they are upstairs? Yeah, he's told me so I'll I make a run around. I don't, I don't think Stream knows about this. So the next level in the rat war. I don't know. The, the black plastic traps where you put peanut butter in and wait for them to get trapped, you know, what's the yeah. word, I don't know, trap, whatever. Yeah, and they are too smart for those. Yeah. They have dodged them adeptly. <laughs> so what Aoyama-san did yesterday, he ordered some, I don't know what it's called, sticky sheet? Yeah, they're insanely sticky glue on them. And... He spread these around the but, building, mm -hmm. which we all are stepping on, you know. You see, <laughs> I hope you, not yet. You see what he did? This the one where this, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <sighs> They're so sticky. Yeah. And I don't even know where he put them all yesterday, so do we have to make the routine? Cause if yeah, they're glue traps. But the deal is, when a mouse goes on one of those, he doesn't die, he just sits there, right? His feet are stuck. So what happens next? They usually fall over and get stuck. I've used those too, they're horrible. I think they're and they Good morning! Die, obviously. Put them. Are you here for 10 o'clock? All right. It's a mix, it's a, it's a one and a, it's a, a I forget what. One and a group of four or something? It's a mix. Well, it's a real mix. Yes. It's a three and a one and a one, right? Three and a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You're in the right place. <laughs> so have a little bit of time. There's to other people coming yeah, yeah. in. Yeah. I didn't want to be late. We appreciate that. Yeah. Sure. Can I open these? What are they? Oh, no, 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 that's got to go to Taki Bin. Oh. Uh, we were too late. We didn't make it last night. Ah. So when we get a minute today, out it goes. That's auction goods, but we're too busy today to muck with that. So just throw it on the side here out of the way. Hmm. What will need to be opened is underneath the Taki Bin one is, is packaging for flea market. Uh, I can't the one with the curved top? top. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh. That's for us. It's flea market cards and packaging. And to That's yeah. to go to Taki Bin. And the one Audrey's touching just has to come out of the way. We've got no time to muck with it today. So. Mm -hmm. You need to pay for the class. No, 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 no. no. Oh. So just, just relax. You'll, we'll be in the back room. We'll take your bag through. Just 
you're, you'll be in the back room there. Shiba san, oh, okay. this is the first lady for the for 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm just going to look. Wait, relax, relax, make yourself home. No problem. Okay, I'm confused. Ah. This one I have to open, and this one needs to go, right? Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Dead Steve asks, have you shared the footage of, or that you took of our friends living in the house? No, I, I haven't done anything. It's still, <laughs> okay. it's, it's still in, in the camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Just, no, you I'm haven't sorry, you know, just whatever. We'll get to it eventually. And I, should, I wasn't trying to tease about it. I just mentioned that it had happened. And, uh, I don't know, Kim. Really, you know, the job's now stacking up. Yeah. It's, just, it's becoming a bit insane. Yeah. And they are all now level zero priority. You know, I honestly shouldn't be doing this octopus work now. I should have just put this away. And, uh, yeah, but the other, event's next. I know, but uh, until the, uh, it's ready for carving, I can't do it on, on the stream. You know, right. just need me to get to the computer and play with this and play with that. It's not something I can do live on the mm -hmm. stream. So once it's ready for carving, yeah, we, we can be, yeah. it'll be carved right here where they're watching. Right. So I really shouldn't be doing this now, because this is, this is now totally non-scheduled work. You know. So I don't know, you know, part of me says, Dave, just, just tell the Twitch people to take a few days off while I get some of these jobs organized, yeah. get the pamphlet ready, get that ready, get this ready. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we're about ready, right? We have yep. got to get the day's affairs up and going. Okay. So uh, yeah. there, get to it. as far as I can see, there will be a stream tomorrow. I know. I'm not even going to say what it is. I don't know. There will be something. Probably there will be something. Okay. Sign us off, yep. sir. Thanks Good. for joining us, gang. Nice to see you again. Thank you. See you. Uh, will she be here tomorrow? Or will she not be here tomorrow? Shoot.